Yes, Lord Jesus, thank you, Father. We sing praises to your name. Hallelujah. His name is great and worthy to be praised. Praise. Can you open up your mouth and sing praises to his name? His name is great. He is great. He's amazing. Yes. Oh, Lord, for your name. His name is great. Hallelujah, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We glorify you. Let's sing it again. You know, before you come before God, before you come into um, his presence, you want to sing to him. You want to glorify him. When you come before a king, you don't come empty-handed. Your praise, your worship is that gift to the king of glory, which is God Almighty. And we appreciate him. We love him for all that he is. Hallelujah. So sing praises to his name. Glorify his name. Wherever you are right now, we glorify his name. We bless his name. Because he's God. And besides him, there is no other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just want you to remember that. Tap into his presence by singing to him and glorifying his holy name. He deserves all the praise, the glory, and the honor. You know, I want to be real quickly here under three minutes, uh, if possible. There's a scripture in Hebrew chapter 13. If you grab your Bible. Uh, let's run over here to Hebrew chapter 13 and verse number eight. And it reads, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday um, and today and forever. You know, with the ever changing world, this world is changing. Situations changes, marriages changes, relationships changes, jobs, careers changes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. But you know something that will never change. That's God. That's our Lord and Savior. He would never change. He's the same yesterday and today and forever. And you know, God spoke something to my spirit. And he told me to tell somebody the vision that he has given you hasn't changed either. Now, we change. Situation changes. Things changes. But God said the vision that he's given you about your business about the home that you desire, about uh, whatever it may be that you desire, the vision he gave you for ministry, whatever it may be. God said the vision hasn't changed. You may have changed, but he's the same. That Greek word same also means uh, unchangeable. So God is unchanging. He's unchanging in his thoughts. He's unchanging in his ways. He's the same yesterday and forever. Again, the vision that God has given you, God told me to tell you these words. It has not changed. So it's time. It's time for you to bust a move now. It's time for you to get active. It's time for you to start moving toward the thing, the very thing that God has given you that'll benefit you, that'll change your life, that'll bless people, that'll bless you in ways that would make you laugh, would make you smile. So remember. Jesus Christ is immutability. He's unchanging. He's the same yesterday. The same word God gave you two years ago, three years ago, 10 years ago. The same vision he gave you. He said he hasn't changed his mind. Glory to God. That brings comfort. Knowing that the very vision God gave me, even though I've laid it dormant, even though it's been resting or sitting in a closet, it's time for you to go in that closet, open that door, reach your vision, remember your vision, love God for giving you the vision, and do something with your vision. Because God has not changed. I want you to know that. And God said the very vision he's giving you, he hasn't changed his mind either. I hope something said uh, that the Holy Spirit said this morning would bless you. Remember, God bless you. We love you. 
and always sing when you come into his presence. Before you come into his presence, sing unto the Lord. Bless his holy name. Well, God bless you. Take care until I see you next time. Take care.